All right, welcome everybody. This is going to be uh, the beginning of a new campaign. I am going to start a second campaign. I'm going to keep my main campaign, Manifesto Destiny, pretty much focused on just like fun stuff. Um, but this one's going to be an educational campaign and I'm going to do it with that, that eye. So what we've done here is we started up another one of these world record attempts, but I'm going to specifically lean it towards like behaviors that would be natural for someone who's just like playing the game rather than someone who is specifically doing speed running. So I'm going to try to like make sure that we don't do things like end up with a colossal amount of debt at the end. That might be worth it. It, it might because like once you once once you don't have a lot of aristocrats that collect money from debt then like that doesn't matter anymore when you're when you're just speed running but but when you're not it does and so what we've done is a normal setup for a normal thing so you'll note here that i am in de debug mode because this is academy stuff and i always want that to be pretty clear to people whenever they log in i want them to know if i'm in the academy or not if i'm in the academy if this little thing is here you can expect me to be very dry. You can expect me to be trying my best to keep it together. I just, sometimes I just, I'm, I'm making YouTube videos right now and I cannot believe how much fun this is. I love it. And I love that everyone's here with me, but, but here we're doing a Kome restoration. So what's a Kome restoration? What's Kome? Who are we talking about? What are we doing? Uh, oh God, I didn't even check to see if I was going to get into wars with these guys. I don't want to get into wars with them right now. Whether I'm, whether I am, um, doing a speed run or a campaign i just like i don't want to mess with russia or great britain i just not until i'm strong and you don't need to ever do it in a speed run i promise it's not important but if you want to do it in um in a campaign then i recommend it actually fighting the uk is immensely profitable and fighting russia for recognition is very easy um the, russia and austria are like the two easiest great powers to get uh recognition off of as japan like or or the ottoman empire any any of those three because they're all weak because because they all kind of occupy the same space that you do so to get us back on track we're going to talk about the Kome restoration again this is going to be largely an educational campaign and so i i'm not going to try to i'm not going to try to educate to, to entertain you as much i'm going to try to teach you and that's that's what that's going to be and then the crazy i'm going to have a crazy campaign when when walker wants to be crazy he's going to have a crazy campaign that's what i'm going to do I'm, you know, I've been making this for like less than a week, so I'm making some decisions in terms of content creation, and I like, I like the decisions that I've made, but we're doing, we're doing Komei. Komei is the father of the Emperor Meiji, so we're, we, right now we've, we, we're, we're doing something fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna take a step back and I'm gonna tell you a little bit of the story. So the Emperor, the Emperor, um, is not depicted on the screen right now. The Emperor is a shadow figure who exists as a, a figurehead within the government. But the real power right now is Ienare uh, Tokugawa. And that should be reversed because the Tokugawa is the family name. So it should be Tokugawa Ienari. Um, cause that's, this is Japan. That's a very easy fix. They should do that. Otherwise it's silly. Like Matsudara Daira is the, the family name. I, I should have recognized that, but we, we, I'm going to pause because I'm going to tell you a story. It's gonna, I, you guys are going to love the narrative that I'm going to weave for you. I promise you're going to love it. Um, so, so the, the Shogun has the, the nominal authority in country right now, in the country right now. And the Shogun is from a mechanical gameplay standpoint, just awful. This is a terrible character and you want to get rid of him. Same with this one. Also terrible character. Also want to get rid of him. You just like, you don't ever want your ruler to be associated with landowners kind of no matter what. They're always bad. Get rid of them. But as a story, as a story, you're the Emperor Kome, and you have been approached by a coalition uh, of of people who are also infuriated with Tokugawa. Okay, so so you have been approached by Matsudara Daira uh, Masu uh, Masujiro. Uh, Matsudaira, just being forced to flip them around is going to make me read awful. I'm sorry. Matsudaira Matsujiro um, has approached you, as has Arisugawa um, Kotohito and um, Oshio Heihachiro. So that coalition of three dudes have, have come to you and been like, hey, we have a secret plan, a secret plot to overthrow the Shogun and reinstall you as the leader of Japan. Do you want in on this? And em the Emperor Komei, for those of you who are unfamiliar with him, just go watch my long my long stream video. Um, this one I'm gonna cut into episodes because it's gonna be done that way. But but 
I'm gonna be showing you devout strats if if this if this if our friend can just stay alive. If if our friend can just stay alive, then this is this is gonna be awesome, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right so the secret plan the secret plan that these guys have and i i didn't i didn't tell you why we're in debug mode it being in debug mode is helpful because it lets you reroll stuff this one's critical you're the person who's in charge of your shogunate whether you're doing a speed run whether you're doing a really goofball thing um you can apparently lock tool tips through the oh all right well i all right i'm learning a lot I'm learning a lot. Well, you know what? Good. I, I like learning. I hope you like learning. I hope that's why you're here. Um, all right. So so you have to re-roll your Shogunate leader until you have the Jingoist ideology here. That one's critical. This one's not. This guy, this guy, he's just, he's along for the ride in this one because he happens to be a royalist, which means that the peasants are going to be extra happy than, like a lot happier than they would, they would be normally, but not, not critical. That's just nice to have. And then if you, if, if, um, if Oshio comes with, um, with a, a ideology that helps you out, that's good too, but it's also not necessary. This one, however, is absolutely necessary and without it, you're, you're going to suffer. Um, but yeah, this, this little triple alliance of guys in the Japanese government have approached you and been like, we want to bring you back into power emperor. And you're like, all right, cool. Sounds good. What's the plan? The plan initially is that uh, because because here we have our own mole, the Matsudaira leader, he's actually working for us, but but from within the shogunate, and he he is gonna make the argument to the samurai that they need a professional army, and that's the problem right now. Because what's going on historically right now, and this is this is real, is that you have a, like a bunch of ronin and a bunch of uh, samurai who like literally can't get jobs because there's nobody killing each other right now, and so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so that just just and this is something that you can even say oh yeah of course that makes so much sense duh do you know how this is happening because this mole just convinces the shogun that if they have a professional army it'll be loyal to him that's that's what he's telling him right now <laughs> And that's the sort of that's that's whenever whenever Walker from the campaign is going to spill over, he's going to spill over occasionally whenever we start doing some some storytelling. But whenever he's thought whenever we're talking about mechanics, I'm going to think really hard. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to build. We're going to build a bunch of stuff. I think the right way to do this is as such. So you you have you have a decree on, you have road maintenance on. Road maintenance is very powerful. If you don't understand it, it gives you um, construction efficiency, which makes it so that you build just faster. And, and building faster means that because we're building buildings, we're building growth. We're not just building buildings, we're building growth. And we're building growth very fast. So we started with a five stack of construction sectors, then a five of logging, five construction, five logging. And then what we're gonna do in this game, um, that the we're also going to set up a secondary um a secondary building structure here in kanto so in the campaign i showed off what happens if you build into hoku i don't think you should build into hoku maybe hoku does have a lot more wood but i i suspect it's not necessary it also has a lot more iron but i suspect it's still not necessary because because I think you have to build in Kansai, and I think you have to build in Kyushu, and then you get one other place to build, and I think I think probably Kanto is the way to go because this is going to be your capital, and so once the once the the shogun has been deposed, you don't want to be moving out into like the middle of nowhere. You want to be moving out to a well-developed city, so that's where we're going to build, um, and and we are going to build growth. We're going to build growth. We're, most of what we're going to do in the game is build growth. Building growth is very good. Um, if, if you don't get why building growth is good, it's cause it's snowballs. Uh, and so just like, don't worry about how much growth you can sustain. It doesn't matter. Like just as much as humanly possible, that's how much you can sustain. You want to, you want to be just holding on to growth until all of your numbers become stack overflows. Cause they will, this is 1.0.3. You, you will, if you know what you're doing, you'll get there. You will get there. I promise. Um, and now we've got wood. So why do I care? So what am I doing? I'm looking in, I, I, I want this to be educational to everybody. I want this to be educational to everybody. So I am going to talk about things that are going to be kind of rote to some of you. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set up this. I'm gonna, this is the outliner. This is important. You should set it up. Very important for everybody. It does not matter if you're doing a campaign. 
speed run does not matter you want you want that set up um maybe we got lucky maybe we got lucky and russia isn't going to colonize over there that's possible that'd be really good that'd be really good i would love that um we're working on colonization so we're working on professional army right now we actually probably don't even need peasants in government but it does make them happy and getting extra stuff is always a good thing don't don't be upset if you get extra stuff that's pretty good unfortunately uh the peasants are going to have to be asked to leave government temporarily not because not because we don't trust Arusa, uh, arusagawa because because he's a good guy he is a good guy it's because the people that he represents uh, would be mad about it so so what how are we approaching this game we are going to try to just drive all remove all of the laws that are propping up the shogun and then and then um matsudaira is going to take on a, a public persona that is going to make him despised people are going to hate him because he's going to be cruel it's affected right he's he's not actually but he's doing it intentionally um so that way when he offends people who are currently nominally supporting the shogun because not everybody in fact most people here don't actually support us komei they support they support ienari but 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 matsudaira is nominally the dude in charge and he just treats all the people underneath him like trash and he does it because he's trying to get them to leave the party and start associating over here with oshio and oshio he's he's incredibly popular this is something that did not happen in a in our speedrun attempt because unfortunately he died or he stepped down i don't know i for i right click through the event i did um but but 125 popularity charismatic inspirational orator firebrand this is the greatest public speaker in um in japan right now and he's part of our little conspiracy he's the greatest public speaker in japan right now like no no duh 125 popularity i i don't know what happened in the the stream i'm gonna guess that he stepped down but i'm gonna tell myself from a like a narrative standpoint that he was assassinated by somebody because that would also happen that would a thousand percent also happen um and so that's that's what i'm gonna say canonically happened to him in that run that someone's gonna check the footage and say nah he just stepped down and you just right clicked on it because you're dumb um and that's that's probably true that is almost certainly probably true unfortunately this this public speaker um and he's also just like an incredible behind doors uh diplomat and negotiator this is this is our like our diplo 25 dude that we have in our little conspiracy this is our uh intrigue 20 dude that we have in our little conspiracy i like if you've never played crusader kings 2 it's a great game um crusader kings 3 is also a great game i want to do some of that but uh right now we're just recording videos for this little japanese i want to call it like a tutorial campaign this is how you should play japan like you can play it other ways but this is this is the right way and and the, it's the right way because it's it's way more flavorful right <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be having um komei associate with buddhist monks that makes way more sense than him associating with intelligentsia and industrialists he, he doesn't like those guys if you know if you know who he is he does not like those guys i know that the event i i'm like 80 percent that the event does not allow you to associate with the buddhist monks as him but it should it should it a thousand percent should for flavor it a thousand percent should for flavor it should be do you want him because he was from behind the shadows and we don't really know who you were aligned with do you want him to be aligned with industrialist intelligentsia or buddhist monks or you know even better it should just it should just default to whatever the highest cloud is that's that's what you should have that's that's how we can improve the game and that's really what the game what this this uh video series is going to be about it's going to be about a playing really clean trying to like not be a, a dumb idiot um and b to educate i think that's fun i like educating i really do i love i love what we're doing with this channel and i hope you love you love what we're doing with this channel because i'm gonna teach you so many things you watch these videos you're gonna learn a lot i promise all right, that's going to be the first episode. I'm going to I'm going to record these in 15 minute segments just to see how it does cuz the the other ones that I've been recording in like 20 minute, 30 minute, 40 minute segments cuz I've just been like I've been out of my mind. I have not been paying attention. I've just been recording cuz I love I love crazy stuff. I'm crazy, you're crazy. 
Um, right now, we're still working on professional army, so we're not doing any any generals or or I might have killed one of them with the council. It doesn't matter. I promise it doesn't matter. And you know how it does, I I can promise that because I actually probably killed one that had a shogunate IG associated thing and right now we're using them to roll on laws and so by killing him early it's actually worse for me i don't care i don't care that this is sometimes i'm gonna make things that are nominally not gonna happen when you do the campaign at home because i am using the debug but i'm not gonna do it for like cheating on rolls i this is this is a proof of concept and for the people who want to use it as a tutorial for a good campaign you can do that because i want to do that and for the people who want to use it as a tutorial for a speedrun, you can a thousand percent. And I guarantee you a thousand percent optimize. Because um, I'm not going to do that. I, I don't think that's interesting. I don't think that's good content. I don't even enjoy doing it. I enjoy doing this, which is which is teaching people um, the ways, which which is Komei is the way. All right, that's it. 